I'm entering the water with my new DSV mouthpiece on my Trieste regulator. Now this regular, this is the first time I've been using this mouthpiece in the water. This regulator I've had since it was new in the 1970s, and I've modified it several times so that it's a very good breathing regulator now. Initially it was so good that I had to use a mouthpiece, a U.S. Divers mouthpiece, that I put a baffle plate in and glued it in. And one time I had a problem with that, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. First, take a look at this. This is looking up at the uh, aquatic center here. We have Dragon Boat Team uh, in training here with uh, their paddling techniques. So it's looking at their paddles in the water from underwater. Pretty neat. You can see some of them aren't quite getting their paddle all the way in the water, which is not good for their, their team. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate a couple of things here. My original mouthpiece had a baffle plate in it, and this new mouthpiece actually... I'll show you here. That, that's a normal hose clearing. The new, new mouthpiece actually has a baffle design so that it pushes things into the water. It also has a valve you can close, so you can prevent free flow. So this is really, really new. It's a first for double hose regulators. I've never seen this before for double hose regulators. This mouthpiece is available through Vintage Double Hose. And I got it as a Christmas present from my wife. I'm sorry, as a birthday present from my wife. And um, it's fairly expensive, but it's well worth uh, the expense for the type of product that it is. Now I'm stopping and I'm going down to the bottom of the pool looking at my computer, my dive computer, and it's registering right at the bottom 16 feet, which is exactly right. This is a 16 foot deep pool because it has competition platform diving. On Sundays they allow us to come in with scuba and right now I'm going to do something that I, I do quite regularly just to keep in practice a Dauphin Dawn exercise but this is not my best effort. Take a look. Now with one hand I was able to close the mouthpiece. Normally it would be without turning off the air, but look, I've forgotten about that neck strap. Wow! Oh well, get it off. Now I'm going to go up to the surface, blowing air as I go. Coming back down, I decided to go for the single hose, which is a MR12 mouthpiece, second stage just to get myself oriented. And I put it over my mouth, or over my neck, and then I'm trying to get set to put the, back, the unit back on. The dawn exercise. I'm switching mouthpiece now, and notice that I'm able to open this mouthpiece with one hand. And now for the troubles. Oops. Get my arm through. Got it. Okay. I'm getting it on. Ooh, what about that second stage? I put on first. Oh, it's underneath my shoulder strap. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Okay, that's a bit better. Neck straps have a purpose, but sometimes they're a pain, too. This Healthways harness has a very unique setup. 
in that it allows a person to use a crotch strap with, and it has a uh, little metal piece on there. It's a wire quick release that hooks into the crotch strap. Pretty nice. Okay, got it. Now I'm going to do a little bit of swimming and that'll end the dive. If you look up above, you can see one of the kayakers is out of his kayak. He tried to turn over and right himself and wasn't successful. Another very beautiful wood laminate uh, kayak just went above me here. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this short video on the DSV mouthpiece. I highly recommend it to anybody that wants to upgrade their mouthpiece.